The confidence question is, you know, I feel like it's such a it's such a good question, but it's also I was always born with this delusional feeling that I could do anything, but given to that was instilled in me and my parents. And if you don't, you're not lucky enough to have parents who give you outsized confidence as a kid. Um, God, because it is, girls face so many challenges and people are constantly telling them they can't do things, they can't be funny, they can't run companies. Um, that I just, I mean, my advice is always just like, you, not to focus on anyone telling you you can't do anything um, or the politics of your situation, but to just focus on the situation. It's sort of to, to think of yourself as not a woman, not a minority, not skinny, not whatever. Just think about like your art or the thing you want to do because you you can get caught up. I can get caught up. I could spend my entire life doing panels on being a chubby woman of color writing a TV show. And everyone, it would be useful to some people, but then I wouldn't be writing my TV show. And all my competition, all the white men who are doing the same thing as me are not doing those panels. They're just getting better and better and better at their job. And so for me, the only advice I ever give women is like, we want to support each other without distracting each other. And it's just like, head, heads down, work really hard, pretend your parents don't like, you know, they lock you in the third room of whatever, and just like do your work. So I, it's not fun advice. <laughs> it's not like look in the mirror and just say like R-E-S-P-E-C-T and like walk down the street. Uh, but I was just, that was not my experience. Um, I hope that was a useful answer. No, and you're so right, because Letterman never gets asked that question, or Adam Sandler, or Jimmy Fallon. They, they just do what they do. They just do what they do, yeah. yeah. It's, and it's, it's nice. I, I think it's, in 10 years, maybe we won't be asked those questions, I think.